If you have thin low density curls like mine, you've probably struggled with your hair looking very sparse and thin, maybe stringy and kind of see through. Well, for this routine, I'm gonna show you how to create more fullness on the inner layers of your hair and get more volume overall. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Gina and here I make videos all about naturally curly hair. I love doing simplified step-by-step -step tutorials and really helping you problem solve so that everyone can achieve healthier hair. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do so before you go because I make videos like this every single week. So I gotta be honest with y'all. I've been really struggling with how my curls have been looking lately and how thin my hair has looked. If you didn't see my last video that I posted, it was all about why our curl patterns change over time. And in that video, I talked about how much thinner my hair has gotten over the last two years. And we talked about all the common causes of that happening. And I actually wrote a little bit more about my theory on why I think my hair is thinned in the blog post that goes with that video. So that's linked in the description box of that video. And I'll put that video linked as well below so you can watch it. But Basically, my hair has greatly reduced in volume over the last two years, and I don't know what it is, but the last couple of wash days I've had, I've really been feeling it and noticing the thinness and just how sparse that it looks. Currently, I'm on day like five, it's time to wash, so it is looking a little bit fuller because, you know, all the gel cast is gone just from where it's ready to be washed, but I don't know if it was just because I used the Curlsmith Souffle in my last wash day, which is one of my favorite gels, but if you use too much of it or just not the right amount or not the right cream underneath, it can give you a very sparse look, like a PC, almost stringy look. And so it's definitely a gel that you have to tweak and get the right amount. So maybe I used too much or maybe I just used the wrong cream underneath of it. I did use a different cream than usual under it and maybe that's what it was, but I was just struggling so much to get that fullness and it was very just see-through and transparent and I could not get volume no matter how much I fluffed it. Normally I can kind of fluff my curls and like scrunch out the cast and get volume, but it was just not having it. And then the previous wash day before that, I had the same issue. It just wasn't stringy. I just had a lot of holes, which I wanted a lot of hold because I was traveling, but then I could get no volume. So this wash day, I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more fullness just to help me like actually like my hair for this wash day. It's so tough and I'm sure you all can relate, but sometimes I love my results and then other times I'm really frustrated with my hair of why it looks so thin and yeah, it's a whole thing. So, so I'm basically going to walk you through my thought process on this wash day routine to kind of problem solve with my curls and why I'm picking the products and techniques that I'm doing to try and achieve a little bit fuller of a look this time so I can feel a little bit better about a wash day finally and hopefully get some better results. So I hope it's gonna be helpful for you. So let's go ahead and wash this hair. It's in desperate need of a wash. I think it's been like five days, so it's definitely needed. I need to clarify, deep condition, do all of the things. So let's go ahead and get started. So I just finished doing my dry detangling with oil. This is the Curlsmith Fragrance Free Shine Oil. I like using this as a pre-poo because it soaks in really fast and I'm impatient. I don't wanna have to wait for the oil to soak in before I shampoo. And then I'm actually going to clarify. I'm gonna use the Twist Clarifying Shampoo because this is just a great clarifying shampoo. I usually rotate between using a regular clarifying shampoo and then using a chelating shampoo like the Malibu C1 for hard water. I usually use that one once a month and then I do just a regular clarifying shampoo on the other weeks that I'm clarifying, if that makes sense. And then I'm just going to deep condition using my Function of Beauty Curly Hair Mask. I have to go wash my hair over the tub, which I hate doing. I always have so much more tangles and shedding when I do anything upside down, but I don't have a choice today since I'm already ready. So I'm gonna go do that. So my hair is all clean now, I already deep conditioned. It feels so much better and much more moisturized. I'm going to be using some light hold products today. So I wanted to show you guys this Design Me Bounce Me Curl Balm. I actually received this in my curls monthly subscription. I can link you to that down below, but um, another curly creator, she started her own subscription box for curls, which is awesome where you get to try out different curly hair products. And I was pleasantly surprised with this curl cream because it actually has a little bit of hold, but it's like a soft hold. But I do wanna add just a little bit more hold. So I am going to combine it with the AG Liquid Effects Extra Firm Styling Lotion, but just a little bit because I don't want too much hold. I just need enough control to where I know it's going to last longer than just one day. But I had really great volume when I used this and I'm really going for more of that full look. So I want softer hold. And I would even just style with like a cream styler, but for me, it just doesn't last. And I don't like the way my hair looks on day two when I do that. So I need some type of hold. But if you like light hold, this is a really great option because it's like a curl balm. 
I'm also going to layer in the Curl Smith Full Body Thickening Lotion because this does make a big difference in the volume in your hair. So first gonna go in with the Curl Smith Full Body Thickening Lotion. You're supposed to apply this first before your stylers and I'm going to kind of use it to detangle as well. Every time I wash my hair upside down, it's just so tangly, like especially at the root. Like it does give a little bit more volume, but I can't stand the amount of shedding that I have when I do that and then tangles because my hair just does not like getting pulled in the opposite direction that it's used to laying. So I can really tell that this creates thickness. It says it's supposed to create like separation between the strands. So basically less clumping, but that's actually good for fullness. I can already tell that my hair looks fuller even though it's wet. So now I'm just going to section my hair. I've been sectioning like right up here just because I don't have as much hair so I don't feel like I need to do a ton of sections. I really just do three. So I do the bottom and then I split this top one in half like horizontally. And that's just so I can style the crown. So now I'm going in with the Curl Balm from Design Me and I'm just doing about a dime size amount on the lower section. So I'm trying really hard not to brush style too much. So I'm actually just gonna be using this wet brush to basically help distribute the product and then just create a tiny bit of tension but not anything like that's too much tension that's gonna cause any type of damage to my hair. I just need something to help kind of shape the curls, but I don't want to full on brush style. Another reason is the more that you brush style and create those clumps, it's going to make your hair look thinner because of all the ringlets and the clumps. But I do like the smoothing effect of brush styling, so that's why I'm just using this brush that basically provides hardly any tension at all, just to smooth the hair, but not clump it too much. Another thing I'm doing to help improve the fullness for this wash day is I'm not going to apply my gel before I brush style. That gives like a super defined look and that's great if you do want a lot of frizz control, but I'm just going to scrunch in a little bit of my gel. So this is the AG Liquid Effects Extra Firm Styling Lotion. This is actually the old packaging they did um, change the packaging. So if you look at it on their site, I'll link it for you down below. It's gonna look a little bit differently, but I use just a very small amount, like a dime size amount. And I'm just going to scrunch that in. This is a pretty firm hold gel, but I usually use a lot more. I usually apply it before brush styling, but since this Curl Balm, the cream that I used beforehand does have a little bit of hold, I'm still going with a lighter hold application of this gel because I know the cream already has some hold and I really want to achieve like just a medium hold look today. I'm just kind of glazing that in and scrunching it in just so it has a little bit of hold but it's not like too much coverage. I feel like this is the opposite from what I normally teach. <laughs> so to get more lift at the crown, I like to just brush all of this hair straight up. I usually place my brush underneath and then bend it to give it a little bit of that root lift right there and then go up and back. And that surprisingly gave me some pretty good clumps. So now I'm just going in with a little bit of the Liquid Effects Gel. So I've noticed that if I don't create my part in just the right spot, I end up with a lot of stringy curls around my part area. I don't know if it's because like, the curls are not naturally going to group into the curl families if they're supposed to be on another side, if that makes sense. So I'm trying to pay attention to where my curls want to naturally group together. So that way I get a little bit more clumping because the last wash day, I had pieces I feel like that were going everywhere and they would not clump no matter what I did. I think they didn't belong on that side. So I'm trying to kind of see where it's like naturally splitting, which is like right there. That looks better. So I just like a little bit of a part. I don't like it to go all the way back. Yeah, I think that's gonna help with the clumping because last wash day, I don't know what it was. It just was so stringy looking on top. Actually, before I apply gel, I'm just going to do a little bit of brush styling with this brush. So this isn't gonna give too much tension, like I said, but I just need something to smooth this area because this area for me is very coarse and it's also where I have my grays. So I really like brush styling to just smooth that area, but I don't want to do too much tension here. So I'm going in with a bit more gel on this section because this is the most frizzy section. It has the most damage. It always gives me the most fit. So I'm definitely going to apply a little bit more gel here. And this is how I kind of treat different sections differently. <laughs> now one thing I like to do to help with just that separation at the scalp is I kind of go underneath and shake out the roots a little bit. 
I'm not advising like to fluff your hair while it's wet, that can cause frizz, but as long as your hands are wet when you're touching wet hair, it shouldn't get sticky. And I'm just doing this to kind of break up the sections because sometimes if you have thin hair, you can see those sections that you created once your hair dries. And so this just kind of helps to blend those together. Then I usually just check the back crown area to make sure it's fully covered with a handheld mirror. I just want to scrunch out some of the excess water with my Curl Smith hair towel, but I don't want to create any frizz because especially in this area that's kind of damaged, I notice that it tends to really lose moisture easily when I do that. So I'm just going to take like the wettest part so it doesn't soak up too much, which is like right here and then just scrunch the areas that feel pretty wet. Then if I do notice any frizz pop up, I'll just take a little bit more of my gel. And this added layer can really add a lot of extra hold. But I don't want a ton of hold. I'm just doing it on the ends that might have gotten a little frizzy. And then I also kind of like smooth over the frizz like this. So now I'm ready to diffuse. I'm just gonna use my Curlsmith Diffusion with the XXL diffuser. This dries my hair super fast. And if you want to get volume and fullness, you really should diffuse because whenever I air dry, my hair looks awful and stringy and very thin. Diffusing really makes a big difference for me. I can like already feel that it's like fuller. I think from that thickening lotion, it really helps. So I'm just gonna pop these root clips in all around the crown area and my part for some more volume. And I'm gonna let that set until my hair is fully cooled off and like completely air dried. So my clips have set now for about 30 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. And these always give so much root volume. Like, look at that. I mean, it does fall some, but it definitely helps. And then sometimes I'll just take my diffuser and like hit the roots one more time to make sure they're completely dry, but they feel pretty dry. So now I'm going to fluff. And I did have quite a bit of a gel cast, but now it's definitely softened up as it's completely dry, but I was kind of worried I had done too much hold and I was trying to go lighter hold for this routine, but I think it's going to be fine. Definitely looks a lot fuller already. I'm so glad I did this routine. Seeing some for its form, but that's okay. Rather have the fullness at this point. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of oil. I've really been enjoying this one from Matrix, which is uh, Felicia's line. She's another curly creator on here, but this actually contains sesame seed oil, which I believe is a sealing oil. So I've been using this to lock in moisture because it's like a true sealing oil. So it is in a spray bottle. So I just spray like two sprays in my hands and rub it together. I've been trying to be better about remembering to use an oil at the end of my routine, especially in the winter to help lock in moisture. My hair feels super soft. So I have the most frizz happening like right here where I always get frizz, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I just fluff maybe tuck some of it in. I love how this turned out. I feel like it looks so much better. It's amazing what a good wash day can do for your mood. I'm already feeling so much better about my hair. I definitely think I needed to clarify and deep condition. That's probably what really helped. And maybe before I just had too much moisture in my hair. I don't know, maybe it was the souffle like I mentioned, but it's looking so much better. Really like these two products together. I'm gonna link you to everything down below if you do wanna check it out, but Really liking how this turned out. I can totally tell it's much fuller. What do you guys think? So I can definitely tell a difference in my before and afters. My hair looks so much fuller, especially on the inner layers, and looks a lot less like transparent. And I'm also noticing a lot more root volume, which is great. I think the method that I did of keeping it just lighter hold and more separated underneath, but a little bit more hold and just more control in the top section, it definitely worked out because this section of my hair is pretty frizzy and a very coarse too. And I also noticed that it has just more damage in that area. It's more high porosity. So I think just using a little bit of extra hold with more gel in that area helped but still maintain the fullness overall. Also, I'm impressed by these ringlets without doing a lot of brush styling. You saw I use that very flexible brush because I'm trying to not brush style as much just to get super healthy curls. And I still have pretty good ringlets without the brush styling. I mean, I think that brush is good for like still distributing product and kind of smoothing the hair, but it's not gonna create like thick, chunky ringlets and that's totally okay. So really liking these results. Like I mentioned, I'll link everything for you down below if you're interested. Also, if you like this video and you want more tips for low density hair, then check out the playlist that I'll have linked right here on the screen. I'm going to include all of my videos that I've done for thin, low density hair. We have some about scalp covering and also some about just achieving more volume overall, how to deal with thinning hair, all of that. I will have those videos linked in the playlist that's right here on the screen. So I will talk to you all over there. Bye everyone.